Hi everyone. I'm out here at the beach tonight. It's right before sunset and it's a good little, it's a small minus tide, uh, minus 0.3 today. And I thought I'd come out and see what I can find uh, out here at Assen Beach. So let's check this out. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna go over here, look in the water to see what we can see. Okay, I found a little creature here in the rock. That is called a chitin. It has two, four, six, eight bony plates on its back. It's kind of like a snail, but those things can hold on very tightly. I mean, they're out here during the storms and everything. This is uh, a splash zone at high tide. The water comes in good. So they can hold on really well. And if I, you can get them off with a screwdriver, if you get them at the first second, they feel you. But after that, they're stuck on for good. Starfish. See that squiggly line there? That is not just a squiggly line. That is a baby giant clam. It's right there. Want us a closer look? Yeah, so that's a giant clam there. They have different colors. That's one of the pretty ones. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Uh, a lobster tail. It's not alive or anything, but a lobster. The lobster remains. Wow, pretty cool. Sometimes octopus leave crustaceans behind or broken shells, but so do moray eels and other creatures. So, I don't see anything, but there could be anything under these rocks. Just walked along here, and there's a bunch of uh, sea cucumbers, brown one, black one. So yeah, they're, they're just everywhere. All right, I got a creature here that's somewhat interesting. It's a type of marine worm. I think it's called a fireworm, but it looks like it's prickly. prickly so I never touch these I, I really don't know so pretty common out here in the reef well I have caught one octopus over here before but so many people come out here to hunt octopus I don't find them very often once in a while so we'll see today just walking along looking what's in the water it is a windy day so there's a little bit of ripple on the water makes it a little harder to see but not too bad there is just over there you can walk and not be in the water now on the other side of that pipe that was an old pipeline. That is a marine preserve over there. But on this side, it's not. So you would think there might be a few octopuses near the border, right? So a, kind of an interesting looking hole right there. Don't know what's in there. Just stick my stick in there. Okay, I 
I see a hole here with some suspicious white rocks outside of it. Um, you see those white rocks? Creatures move the rocks out of their um, dens and they go in. So something lives in there. sunset. We got some uh, sea urchins that like these places where they can hide. Forbidden ground, though. Don't swim over to the forbidden ground, little octopus, if you are there. I don't know if you can see that white bird just right there. It's a reef heron out hunting for something. Let's see how close I can get to it. The reef heron has a white phase and a gray phase. This is the white phase. If you can't see it. What do you see, little heron? What do you see? Oh, and there over there is a gray one. Wow. The wonders of God's creation. Out here. At Assen Beach, at sunset. Cool. Well, there goes the gray one. Another one further out. It's getting pretty out here. See the 
sun on the hotel row over there, Tumon Bay. Okay, so I just found this giant finger paw. Let's see if the animal's still in there. Yeah, he is. I can't believe he's just right out here on the reef. Wow. Nobody has collected this thing. And by the looks of him, he's pretty old. When they get these ugly colors on the edges, that means they've been out here for a while. Um, they have two eyes. One, one comes out here, one comes out here, and it just hops around on its foot. And he's like the vacuum cleaner of the reef. And this is the largest fog that we have in Guam. Giant finger shell. Well, the sun is about to go down. Now, there are times when at, right at the moment the sun goes down under the horizon that there's, there's supposed to be a green flash on clear evenings. So let's see if we can spot one. Now, if I stare at that area over there long enough, it turns green. Like right now, it looks green to me, but <laughs> we'll see. There's some clouds over there. Man, right now, it looks so green. Let's see if there's any flash. There it goes. I kind of saw a little green flash. I don't know if you saw it on the camera. Woohoo! Or was it my imagination? I saw the green flash. <laughs> oh, check out that barnacle. in there and he's alive. When the tide comes up, he'll be right at the water level. The tide comes up. Well, I better head back to shore. Okay, I see a little purple crab. We have another worm that we usually find out here on the reef. It's kind of a red and white color. Here, this looks like the front of him. Oh, look at that. Sucked himself back over this way. worms or fire worms, whatever they're called. Well, I'm back at the shore. I made it back without any problems. It's almost getting dark. So right now it's sunset. Beautiful sky. So let's check it out. Ooh, pretty awesome over there. Good night.